Okay, so uh, we decided to put the glass in here instead of plexiglass just because, well, I've got all sorts of glass that'll just about fit right in here. Uh, just have to cut a couple of grooves down the sides, and I've got to take this stuff off anyways in order to peel over the back plate. So uh, we'll just take all this stuff off, cut a groove down these lines. If I had a router, I'd just do it right now, but I don't have the router here. And I don't feel like going to get it down at the other building. And then maybe we'll do another one here with a little, I don't know, maybe, well, I guess maybe I can't do that. I'll think about it. Maybe I can do something small. I'd like to be nice to be able to fit a book in here, but I don't think I can get a book in that with a piece of glass. I suppose I could just put a piece of glass in this corner and groove that and then glue the glass in, but it might leave a sharp edge. I could sand it, but man, that'd be awful breakable not having three sides tied in. Anyway, so we decided to do the same thing in the back door. I just cut these in it, just stick those in here. We'll glue them in when they're all finished and maybe stink a screw in them if they need it. Liquid nails it or something. And then, uh, again, the glass will go right inside. I got my handy dandy glass cutter here. Actually, this one's a ceramic cutter. So I'm gonna try this ceramic one and see what I get. So that worked slick. Uh, cut it right in half. It's a Actually, it was a ceramic cutter. I had a glass cutter like this, but I don't know what I did with it. So I was hoping that it would work the same, and it does. It's got a little breaker on it, so you just use it like priors and crack the glass in half when you're done scoring it. But uh, I'm going to use the flat factory edge here in order to make the rest of my cuts because it'll make it faster and straighter. As you can see, i got a little bit of a wobble in there, but not too bad. But I'm going to do the rest of those. I've got a bunch to cut. So, so the in the... Oh, that was nice. In the uh, screen here, it's not as dark as it actually is in real life. Um, but we're getting a, a thunderstorm, obviously, and we're under severe thunderstorm warning, which means like big hail and whatever else. So we're just taking a little break because we were spraying these panels for the final coat and kind of keeping my eye on this because I want to put my Mustang inside or at least park somewhere underneath some the hail. Yeah, it's a... Uh spray day and we're trying to get things sprayed and the wind keeps changing directions on us and whatever else it was going through the shop really nice earlier blowing from front to back and then like Tiffany mentioned this thing rolled along it's supposed to have big hail in it but I think it's gonna miss us to the north we might yeah we might the last one that. that rolled through did mm -hmm. I like it when it thunderstorms I like I just like it and I like, I like that it puts nitrogen into the ground, so then it really makes things grow and it looks beautiful around here. It's pretty cool when it's non-stop like that. It's probably, I think the screen's probably only picking up about maybe half of what's going on. But you're still getting a pretty good shot of the rumbles, the strikes that are going. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that it's not picking up the sound either, but... Um, it's like a constant rumble. It's funny they say a, a tornado, <clears throat> when it comes, it sounds like a train. But when the storms are like that, you can't hear it. It's Everything sounds like a train. It's just a constant rumble. Mm -hmm. We've seen some tornadoes, like for not just so that little wind thing we saw. But no, was, like there was we've a, seen a couple of pretty good ones. There was two outside of town when we first moved here, at least not too long ago. And then there was one, a big one, that we went and saw. It was a beautiful, clear day, and the siren went off, and we're like, what? So we drove up to the outskirts of town to, to see it, and the sky was black. And man, you kind of crested a little hill there, and you just saw it, and there was no messing around. It was just a big wedge. I think it was an F4 or something like that. But I think it was a F3. But yeah, it wasn't anything to mess with, that's for sure. No, it wasn't like one of these little twisters that, you know, you see it kind of moves around and whatever else. It was just a f big fat wedge that came to the ground. It's like, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to have nothing to do with that. And it went through a town about an hour from here. Um, and I think it did damage to like 30 homes or something. Yeah. Right. 
so anyway we won't bore you too much with this thunderstorm but um, we got to get back to work it's uh, nine about a quarter after nine we, we want to finish I yeah I need to hurry up because I'm running out of space on my tablet now so so really quick I'm just gonna give a, a quick update we've been um, I had to wet sand everything all or I didn't wet sand but I sanded down just dry sand uh, with the DA all the panels again so the hood the fenders and some of those parts but anyway Chad has been spraying the inside of these doors and we're almost done with that part and then he's been spraying the panel so you can't see it but there's a hood upside down back there <laughs> and I'll go up front and show you the panels here are the panels that are complete we've got both splash shields, radiator pieces, um, this uh, step right here, and we've got the other one just about ready to spray too. We've got this fender, the other one's just been sprayed, so that'll be nice to have it all painted, and then once it's dry, we can put it on the car. Yeah, we'll probably be assembling on, I'm guessing, on. Uh, not tomorrow, but the next day. I wanted to be assembling tomorrow. What is today? Wednesday? Wednesday. Okay. So we'll probably have it together Friday. Yeah. Trying to get these headlights wired in. And of course, everything's got to be some sort of a fiasco. And this regular bit, or this regular screw, it's an inset screw, has broken half of it. Mm, nice. Yeah. So we're doing all the installation of the glass and just putting all the panels on they're all done painted um, I've got to come up here and show you here's the hood it turned out really nice and we we've ended got up, the uh, shooting everything uh, again we didn't like it it was gloss and we didn't it, it wasn't what we were going for it was too hot rod ask you know they painted these things with a stinking water hose back in the day so uh, we dry sprayed everything over again, and it worked great with POR. So uh, it's POR black coat, so it's UV, you know, intolerant or whatever else. So um, I guess that's, we just dry sprayed it all again, so it's got a matte finish now. So we haven't had a whole lot of time to do an update, but it's about uh, 9.30, and we finally got almost all the panels on. I'll walk up front and show you the, the front of the vehicle, too, but all the... We don't have any panels left, except a hood. This side's complete. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. But he put the step on, so that's kind of pretty. And the front is the neatest part. We got the lights, the side lanterns on. So this is, what day is this, Monday, this is our last week before we leave, and um, we've been working really hard on this. So I got, this is the third wheel that's painted, there's two already on, and I will show you what it looks like on. We even got the cute little um, brass hubcap on there. So do you want to say what you've done? Nothing. Nothing? Twiddled my thumbs. That's what I feel like. Oh, hardly. So, I So, suppose. I think the last update we gave was it was just, it was just painted. Yeah, so, here, okay. So, we've got these latches on. It's a fight to get them to latch. Hopefully, they'll wear in over time. And they're a fight to get undone, apparently, too. Two man job. Buckle this thing up in time. And then the. And then you got some hardware going on. Yeah, I went and bought a Put whole on. bunch of different hardware to try and make this work. And uh, ended up finding something that works good enough to where it doesn't upset me too bad.
So that way they don't open up too far. I'll go on this heading. Uh, windows in. I don't know if they saw that. Yeah, the glass is in now. Just installed the trim all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There, I'll uh, lift this up too. I can just barely see it in the light, but. So there it is here. And again, I had a bunch of hardware, but the distance, by the time you do it, it would stood up straight like this. You know, if you had something hooked to the side, it just wasn't long enough. And I thought about doing cables, tying them to there, and I thought that was tacky too. So uh, I went with this. I just took, actually these are hood bumpers, cut into four sections. And then, so it's just a flap of rubber with a screw tied in it, or screwed down in it, to hold it there. And then, so that just flap of rubber just makes one little contact patch which I can live with. So that way it doesn't go too far down. And the other thing that panels. the other thing that we did last week that we didn't video on here was the welting. Oh yeah, the welting's done now around here. Did you get both sides done? Yeah, you did. So, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's just a piece of almost like a piece of vinyl trim almost. Is that kind of what it's like or? Yeah. It's for convertible tops. But yeah, so it's just the trim piece on the corner here. And there'll be one that goes up all the way around the top, too. And you can see all the wood everywhere. We've tried several methods to get over the top of the C-cab. There's a whole pile of it out there, you <laughs> see, <laughs> with all our... You know, and everything junk. we did, we tried this masonite crap, and it did okay for a little bit, but broke. We had a... We tried this trim. We... Went and bought a whole bunch of mahogany. That snapped. It yeah, just it splintered. Broke. It splintered as it went yeah. over. And you know, you can soak it in wood, but it would take too long. Water. I mean, water. And that's the way you should do it, is soak it in water. That way you can bend around and do it. But there's no way that we have time to do that. So we're just trying to find a different way. I'm just going to wrap it in metal, I think. We're going to wrap the metal strips because they'll bend and I can do what I want with them and screw them down, call it good. I, I don't know. We can't think of any better way, so we're going to have to, I called um, the place in Grand Forks and they're going to, they'll have it for us, I guess, when we get there tomorrow, so. Yeah. Back been, to Grand Forks tomorrow. We've been doing a lot of tinkering, trying to, you know, got it running, so that's decent at least. Uh, didn't take much. Uh, tank's hooked up now. Uh, it'll, it'll run. Belt keeps slipping off, but I think, like I said, crucial on these little things. It runs a water pump and whatever else, but I think we're going to drive it like that. Um, what else did I do? Oh, get the headlights hooked up. Yeah. Be out. There we go. I just barely saw them on. I don't know if you can see them in the camera. They're on. They're kind of a glare. Anyway. anyway so. so then I had to... The headlights aren't perfectly aligned. But, uh, you know, I don't know what happens to these things over a hundred years, getting beat around and whatever else, but this one was off center, so I just, you can't bend these for nothing. I don't know how they get a bent, farmers run them into crap, I guess, I don't know. And this one needs to come down, but like I said, you can't do it, you can't move them for nothing! So I don't know how they do it. Anyway, so we, uh, I had to drill out the hole because this one was off-centered. It was off-kilter, and it just bugged the heck out of me, given that there's lines in it. If there wasn't lines and a Ford emblem across the top, I wouldn't have cared. So I had to re-drill on the inside and re-slot, so another inch, basically, to get them to line up straight. But that's done now. Just a lot of here. tinkering stuff. This is on here, too. The wings yeah, the, to the arc. Yeah. <laughs> and then we built these also. I don't know if we got video of that. No. These are just, this so. is just, uh, just braces. Okay. We haven't had a whole lot of time to video. We've been working on doing it. We've got the carriage lights mounted. And these are just for, again, kerosene. So that way you can pick them up and air flashlight, basically, that sits on the side is what they are. But I think that the brass really is pretty. It adds to the whole flare of it. Yeah. So these got, are, this is just a oh. conduit. And we just flatten the ends oh, out. Oh, yeah. And then had to, you got to bend it around. And that worked fairly well. What else have we done? We put the step, the four, uh, the brass steps on. Yep, steps are on. Uh, I could just kind of do a little walk around, but we're so close to being finished, and it's a good thing we only got a week. All we got is the roof and the artwork. 
and one wheel. I still have that one right there, which will take me a while to do, but... Take your day, probably. Yeah, I'll be back down here on Wednesday, and then I'll be packing and getting all our properties kind of cleaned up before we leave, so... I imagine you'll do the roof and start on the artwork here next, so... We'll do the next update when we get a little farther, and uh, sounds good. Our 